Hello and welcome to Polly Stitch channel. I've decluttered my winter wardrobe and found this old coat. So this coat was already well worn and in many places the fabric was rubbed. So let's not bother with ripping, I'll just cut the seams. We will try to cut as many identical parts as possible from the received pieces. I turned the squares of 15 by 15 centimeters and there are still narrow pieces. We will work with the squares a little later, but now we will deal with the stripes. We will trim them all under the width of 10 centimeters, which was the longest I could get. I'm laying out all the strips in rows and estimate the result in size. If the strips are very long, I can cut them. The resulting pieces are 10 cm wide and 20 cm long. By the way, if you didn't know, nothing helps with the housework as much as a disconnected internet. For further work, you will need an adhesive interlining or vlizzling. First, lay out our pieces on the ironing surface with the wrong side up. They should resemble brickwork. So we lay them exactly end to end so that there are no gaps. Let's go over them with the iron a little so that everything lies flat. We close the workpiece with a piece of adhesive interfacing or vlizzling with the adhesive side down or with the glued side down. Of course, it's better to take a black non-woven fabric to match the color, but I took white so that you can see better. In the finished item, it will all be hidden, so you won't see the white part. Non-woven fabric is different, and today we're working on one that is glued with a dry iron. So, to do that, you have to align the part with a large ruler and square and cut off the excess fabric. It turned out to be a wonderful piece. All small parts are adhered to the adhesive non-woven liner. For further work, you will need a straight 3 cm wide binding. My ruler is exactly of this width, so I focus on it. Then I bend the edges of this inlay inside. I am showing a little secret that will allow you to easily and quickly cope with this work. Fold the edges of the tape inward towards the center and press this fold with pins. At a distance of 15 cm I will also press the other fold of the inlay. We will fix the fabric with an iron. After that you can tighten the already finished inlay and iron the next piece. When working with the sewing machine, I use my side table, which I made myself. It is needed so that the fabric lays flat and on the same level with the stitch plate. I would like everything to be firmly and thoroughly stitched. Therefore, to begin with, we will zigzag all connections and after this we will close the seams with inlays. We'll just overlay and stitch along the edge with a straight stitch. First, we will work with the short joints and then we will hide the long seams. The size of the workpiece turned out to be 50 by 70 centimeters. I also prepared a fabric for the back side and the synthetic winterizer. I cut them out 5 centimeters more than our workpiece. However, when looking at this, I think the grey picture is just really boring, so let's add some decor. I have trims of the drape in red and dark green. Of course, many needlewomen sew panels with leaves, but each does in her own way. The simplest shape of the leaves 
can be easily cut and positioned in any way your fantasy tells you to. It gives a nice effect of the fallen autumn leaves on the drape. And fix them with pins. The color of my threads is gray and it is clearly visible on all the details and looks like a slight frost. Sew the stalks several times. When we move on to work on the next fragment, we do not break the threads. We lay the seam along the gray finishing inlay. The edges of the leaves are not stitched, they are free. But this fabric will not unravel. And if the fabric is a little loose, it will give liveliness to the whole picture. And this is how our canvas looks from the front and the wrong side. Later, we put a synthetic winterizer on the base fabric and a decorative part on top. All layers of fabric must be straightened, tightened and secured with special quilting pins. After that, we continue stitching. Stitch and don't break the threads as usual. When we have reached the end of the product, we cut the threads and we also lay the next seam, starting from one side. We trim the quilted part, cut off the excess fabric and decorate the edge with inlay which is 4 cm wide. At the beginning of the sewing, fold the free end. That's pretty simple. And then we bend this inlay to the wrong side and stitch along. The result is a wonderful rug. The leaves look like they are alive. And Honestly, I didn't expect it to turn out so beautiful and creative, like a piece of path in a park or a city garden, when freshly fallen leaves lie on dark tiles from the rain, and soon frosts will start. I'm a poet, a poet, but I still have squares from this draped coat, and I'm going to think that something interesting can be created of them. And I'll think about something interesting that I can do with these patches. Alright, thank you for watching and subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon and don't miss out on my new videos. I'm always happy to read your comments and see you in the next video.